So what does Zero Res have that your carpet cleaning company does not have? Maybe a lot, maybe nothing at all. Here's a marketing lesson in branding and marketing positions. So let's dive right in. If you're in the carpet cleaning business, you've inevitably seen Zero Res and maybe even felt the pain of their low price coupons all over Valpac and Groupon and all over the place, right? You've seen the three rooms for whatever, 99, 135, whatever the case may be, duck cleaning discounts, and you go, wow, they've got so many trucks, they do so much advertising, how can they afford to do that? And then the funnier part about this is, often if you really know the science of cleaning, what they tell you that they're doing that's different, what they've branded to their prospects and to their clients is that they use low residue cleaning, specialized water, electrolyzed and oxidized to extract dirt, etc., etc. The funny thing is, some of you might be doing the same exact thing in your company, but yet you did not come along before Zero Res and claim that marketing position. And because you did not do it, your prospects may be running to Zero Res because they were the first ones to cry out, we do low residue cleaning. We rinse with pure clean water. I used to do that in my own company. I used to advertise that I did that in my own company. And we would also advertise rotary extractors. And a quick funny story about the rotary extractors. Uh, back when the Rotovax and the RX-20 is really the only thing that we had, the old Rotovac. I would advertise that quite a bit in the newspaper until one day an apartment complex was just shopper calling and called and said, Hey, do you use the Rotovac? And I was like, oh, crud, yeah, I, I do use the Rotovac. Well, great, how much? And then I gave them price. Well, such and such said they do it for cheaper. I was like, great, call such and such then. I don't, I don't care. I don't really want to work for apartment complexes anyway. But the point was that I quickly learned at that point was that I was differentiating myself by method being the Rotovac rotary extractor. So I quickly changed what I would say in the newspaper and quit trying to actually advertise for the Rotovac company and for anybody else that decided to come along and, and do Rotovac. So quick marketing lesson with, with really marketing yourself by your method of cleaning. Any one of you guys can come along and claim that you do all of this stuff if you do indeed do it. And if you do it in a bigger way and advertise more than Zero Res does, you can beat Zero Res at their own brand eventually, although it's going to be a little bit harder because they were the first to really get up in a big way and claim that position potentially in your area. I'm not saying whether you should or shouldn't do it because there's lots of ins and outs on that from a marketing brand position standpoint. However, you need to understand that marketing by system is not the best way to market. For you guys that do dry cleaning, I would not stand up on a soapbox and say I do dry cleaning. Even for you guys that do steam cleaning, I don't recommend that you stand up on a soapbox and have your main marketing position that you do steam cleaning. Because anybody else can come along and say, hey, I do steam cleaning too, and it's $5 cheaper, and they win. Again, I just mentioned this because it's an interesting story that Zero Res has come along, taken this market position. Don't let it disturb you. Guys, you need to come in and get your own marketing position, beat Zero Res, beat all of the competition. And here's the thing, maybe you can't beat Zero Res at this point and you don't have the money to beat them for getting that market share for the low, low residue or low moisture, whatever that you want to claim in your area. But you can do that to a small public through your past clients, through texts, through emails and postcards. Do all three. For crying out loud, do all three. Don't just skip to one because one or two of those because it's cheaper. Do postcards. Do actual mail. Um, or you can also, in conjunction, pick certain segments of the city. Maybe not the whole city. But certain neighborhoods, certain areas of the city that you really want to hit. And you can gain the market share for whatever you want to brand yourself as in that marketplace too. Don't feel discouraged. And the, the good thing that you can do is you can actually charge more than zero res. Have better guarantees than they do. Give better customer service than they do. And you can absolutely beat them and charge more. We did in my own cleaning company. Lots of my clients do. You can too. Charge enough to make money. Life's too short to clean for the wrong people. All right, guys. Talk to you later.